डाइजेस्टिव ड्रग्स बाय डगलस एम बोरलैंड नाइट्रिकम एसिडम देर आर वन आर टू कंडीशन इन विच नाइट्रिकम एसिडम इज पर्टिकुलरली यूजफुल फॉर द डाइजेस्टिव पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू फॉर एंड अवे द कॉमनेस्ट ऑफ विच इज अल्सरेशन ऑफ द लोअर बॉवेल्स यू सेल्डम गेट इंडिकेशन फॉर दिस रेमेडी इन एन ऑर्डिनरी एक्यूट कैस्ट्राइटिस एक्सेप्ट इन अ टिपिकल नाइट्रिकम एसिडम पेशेंट बट द काइंड ऑफ केस इन विच यू गेट इंडिकेशन फॉर इट इज द वेरी ओल्ड ब्रोकन डाउन क्रॉनिक इल हेल्थ पेशेंट वेरी ऑफन विद ओल्ड डाइजेस्टिव हिस्ट्री डेटिंग बैक ओवर ईयर्स विद डेफिनेट बॉट्स ऑफ डायरिया ऑफन देर इज अ हिस्ट्री ऑफ एन ओल्ड डिसेंट्री आर समथिंग सिमिलर एंड द पेशेंट कंप्लेन्ट्स ऑफ इन डेफिनेट एबडामल डिसकम्फर्ट वेरी ऑफन विद पेन्स सेंटर्ड अराउंड राइट इलियक फोसा It is not clear whether the patient has a chronic appendix or whether it is a legacy from an old dysentery with a chronically inflamed cecum and a history of recurring diarrhea which is always very painful. The other type is the patient with a history of tuberculosis. He is liable to get feverish with an irregular swinging temperature and sweating. Associated with that he has digestive disturbances again with recurring attacks of diarrhea. In addition to this pathological background the nitricum acidum picture is important as a rule patient is somewhat emaciated easily tired and always in a very nervy excitable irritable peevish condition the irritability may be very acute and go on to a violent attacks of rage or it may be general peevishness tending towards despondency and hopelessness with some degree of anxiety Nitricum acidum patients are usually dark complexioned and rather swarthy. Usually they have brown hair and brown eyes. They are very easily startled. They jump at noises or at any sudden approach and they are particularly liable to be scared if anyone suddenly touches them. Another common feature in the nitricum acidum patient is a red nose. The nitricum acidum picture is of someone looking rather thin, dark and sallow. with a very red nose most of these patients complain that their nose often get blocked they commonly suffer from persistent post nasal discharge these patients usually suffer from severe headaches whose type is most suggestive there is always a sensation of increased tension in the head the patients describe it either as feeling like something clamping down on the head or else as a constricting tight band around the head they are always very sensitive to cold They are chilly patient and cold aggravates all complaints. They commonly have an unhealthy mouth. There are small exceedingly sensitive blisters on the tongue and on the inside of the cheeks and the gums become inflamed with good deal of bleeding and very offensive smell. There is always considerable salivation and nearly always a tendency to develop cracks at the angles of the lips. As regards the actual digestive condition the, the nitricum acidum patient is very much upset by milk which produces a sour irritation and a feeling of intense bitterness the patient very often gets this bitter taste after any food and quite often he gets irritations tasting of what he has eaten many hours before in spite of these digestive upsets nitricum acidum patients often have a ravenous hunger but are particularly uncomfortable after a meal They develop an acute craving for highly tasting food, sour, pickled herring, etc. Often they have a strange desire for fat and yet any fatty food is very liable to produce a sensation of nausea. In all their conditions, these patients have a definite aversion to meat and to bread. They say the bread turns sour and is liable to produce sickness and vomiting. These patients very often feel more comfortable while they are actually eating. Afterwards they get the burning sensation in the stomach which goes on to a definite abdominal colic during the period of discomfort the nitricum acidum patients feel very hot and sweaty there are two characteristic conditions in connection with the stomach one is on swallowing when there is a feeling of obstruction at the cardiac end of the stomach there may be actually be acute stitching pain in that region on swallowing and occasionally x-ray reveals a definite lesion more commonly it is merely a spasm but there may be actual ulceration the other condition is a similar spasm in the pyloric region on palpation in the epigastrium there is very often a tender spot over the pylorus where this is present in addition to sore irritations after food the patient are liable to develop nausea and vomiting they frequently vomit a quantity of tenacious bloody mucus which is very offensive 
in the abdomen there are attacks of colic with severe pinching stitching pains and a complaint of constant abdominal disturbances a feeling of rumbling in the abdomen which the patients very often describe as if their inside were boiling these attacks of abdominal pain may come on some little time after a meal or they may be induced by patients being exposed to cold with the more chronic abdominal disturbance nitricum acidum patients get a certain amount of enlargement congestion of the liver and there may be a degree of jaundice the most common characteristic is the liability to attacks of diarrhea the actual character of the stool varies very much with the pathological condition but it is always very offensive it may contain mucus or blood on examination there is very likely to be definite possible very extensive ulceration in the rectum from experience i have not found nitricum acidum helpful in carcinoma of rectum one would think it should help because it has the symptoms the pain the urging the offensive stools and the blood and mucus but i have never seen it do much good it seems to have more affinity for an ulcerative colitis the constant characteristic of nitricum acidum diarrhea is its extreme painfulness the patients gets colicky attacks before stool and they get an extremely severe tenesmus during stool and after in fact it is even worse after passes of the motion than during it they describe it as if rectum were being torn or as if knives were sticking into it you will see them simply writhing in agony in addition to the offensiveness the nitricum acidum stool is very excoriating i have seen cases with extensive excoriation spreading right back between the buttock the whole area being extremely painful there is tendency as would be expected with the enlarged liver and bowel irritation for nitricum acidum patients to suffer from piles these indications for nitricum acidum appear mostly in a patient who for some time has had piles which have had a tendency to bleed but have never been very troublesome then for some reason the bleeding has suddenly stopped and the piles have become inflamed and intensely painful especially after the bowels have acted this in the typical broken down kind of patient in which nitricum acidum is indicated is the case that responds very well in addition to piles with the chronic diarrhea these patients are very liable to develop fissures about the anus these are extremely tender very sensitive to touch and often burn like fire patients say when the bowels act it feels as if the fissure were being split open or as if it were being cut by a knife there is other point about nitricum acidum patients which is almost constant they tend to have a very strong smelling urine it is almost as penetrating as the benzoicum acidum urine and has very much the same character often described as horse urine there is one weird thing about nitricum acidum patient certain of their symptoms are produced are aggravated by railway travel they are, are liable to get a headache from it and to get sick and yet certain of their other disturbances are definitely helped by traveling even their headache is sometimes relieved by it Occasionally you find a patient who says that the only time he is comfortable is when traveling you may get it either way traveling may relieve them or it may aggravate them so if you get a patient who says traveling always does him good do not rule out nitricum acidum patient to be aggravated by traveling of any kind but you will occasionally come across patients on whom it has the opposite effect Description of this medicine nitricum acidum in digestive tract explanation and share thank you for visiting my channel goodbye